Hey there, Facebook. Uh, good evening. Good evening. This is Fonda coming at you live. Um, I wanted to talk to you a bit about Steve Harvey. Well, he's not in the news right now. However, I was just scrolling through Facebook and I saw one of those old memes about how they wouldn't take advice from Steve Harvey because he's been married two or three times. Let me ask you a question. If you ran a business, would you take advice from someone who's never been in business or someone who's tried business and failed at business? My take on marriage is this. Marriage is, you know, a covenant under, under God, yes, but it's also a business contract because if you do your research about marriage, it is really about, um, it's really, it's really a business of it. It's its own entity, right? Because no one can really kind of mess it up except for the two people that are in it. So why wouldn't you take advice from Steve Harvey if you've never been married? I mean, why wouldn't you? He is, he, hey, Mary, he's experienced in the thing um, two or three times. Now, does it mean that he's um, without uh, fault? That's between him and his ex-wives, don't you think? But to discredit a person just because they've been married and failed at something does not mean that you should throw the baby out the, with the bathwater, as they say. It is, it is egregious, I think. Um, now, I read the book, you know, what is it? Um, what's the name of that book? Um, something like a lady think like, you know what I'm wanting to talk about. Um, I really want to know the name of that. So if you if you remember it, just put it in the comments because I am drawing a blank. I read it just to say that I read it because it was like social experiment. I wanted to see what he had to say. Well, here's the thing. He ain't say nothing in that book that your mama or your girlfriend, ah, think like a man. That's right. Um, thank you, Mary. He didn't say anything in that book that your mama, your auntie, your sister, your somebody said had said to you or informed you. But for some reason, it caught fire. Now, let's think about why. Why did that catch fire? I think because it was from a man's perspective. I have quite a few friends. Well, actually, Fitz and I, are, as a couple, have quite a few friends who will get want my husband's perspective rather than mine. Now, we are not the same person, we don't think the same, but as far as our marriage is concerned, we are on the same page. And they all want the, the advice from him. It's astounding to me, it saves me a lot of time, but at the same time, it's just very striking to me because they just want that male comfort, right? Now some would say, well, why would you allow them to speak to your husband? Why wouldn't I? Help is help right? My husband's been married before. So this is what I say to you ladies, if you're looking for someone to spend your, your time with, your life with, etc., if you're throwing a man out because he comes with kids or if he comes with, you know, the ex-wife, then you're really slimming your chances of, of having true love. Because what are you coming with? Like, if you're, if you're as old as I am, or as you, if you live to be as old as I am, we all got some stuff with us, right? We all got some stuff that's a work in progress, and we're all works in progress. Therefore, really think about, are you the match that you want to present? Are you pristine and everything is rosy and everything is perfect? Of course not. So, and I'm not saying lower your standards because I'm not one for, for falling for some bullshit either, right? I mean, just keeping it 100. But I really ask you to think about who are you taking your advice from? Are you really running it through your gut to see whether or not that's true for you? Because even though I'm saying a lot of words, words don't teach. Resonance does. If it doesn't resonate here, if it doesn't res resonate in your gut, then it's, no, it's not truth for you, and that's okay, but it's necessary to run it through your gut, run it through your heart, then your brain. A lot of us, we run it from the brain to the heart, to, and it never even gets to the gut, so you don't get that guttural check, that sixth sense, that intuition, that, that thing that tells you right from wrong, and if you don't let it do its job, then it really can't help you. So, 
I am just babbling because I need to go and go downstairs and watch some TV with my guy. But I did not want a day to pass without reaching out to you, letting you know that I'm thinking about you. And, you know, the Steve Harvey meme that I saw about marriage and not and not paying attention to him really just struck me. And I was wondering how many people are really paying attention to that? And I saw that there were a lot of likes. So I got really concerned because I'm thinking, OK, are women at home like not going out and doing things because a man's been married before i mean i wouldn't have i wouldn't have the mate that i have if if i dis disregarded you know uh the opportunity to be with him so weigh in on that you know pm me let me know how you think what you're thinking what your thoughts are um, i'm going to be putting this uh video like i'm putting the rest of them over on the uh fan page Fonda Clayton, uh, Fond, uh, Facebook.com forward slash Fonda Clayton, because uh, as we know, t the timeline can get really congested. So um, letting you know, I love you like cook food. If you need to reach me, PM me, and I wish you a wonderful night, and I thank you so much for tuning in. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.